guys, it's Maggie. Welcome back to another vlog. This vlog I'm super excited about because it is a cape vlog. And you guys love my cape vlogs. And if you are new to my channel, if this is the first video you're seeing, my name is Maggie. Um, and I grew up on Cape Cod, which is like a vacation spot for people in Massachusetts. So there's like the beach and a bunch of like little restaurants, like a bunch of locally owned places and it's just so cute and I love going back home to the Cape during the summer because now I live in Boston um, and it's just nice to be able to like spend time with family and kind of like get to enjoy where I grew up because even though I grew up on the Cape my whole life I feel like it was a lot different than it is now because I would spend my summers like working. I remember the last summer that I lived on Cape I literally worked like over 40 hours a week. I worked six days a week at my restaurant job and then my one day I had off I babysat so it's like I feel like I spent my whole summers always working and it's so nice now because I get to work from wherever and I just feel so lucky that I get to be able to like go to the Cape and vlog and show you guys like what I do and you guys like love seeing my Cape vlogs and show you all like my favorite places to go to and stuff um, but it's gonna be a little bit different right now just because of like everything going on restaurants are like starting to open up I know a lot of places are like doing takeout and stuff but it's just like not the same as it has been in the past um, but it is Father's Day weekend so I'm really excited to go down to the Cape and spend time with my dad and go to the beach just have like a relaxing weekend so yeah make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're new and also i always link my instagram in my description if you guys want to follow me along there to see like my stories and posts and all that stuff you don't have to i'm just letting you know it's down there if you're wondering um but i'm getting ready to pack up right now i literally just woke up did my morning routine still in my little t-shirt that I slept in and I have all of my like clothing packed up for the weekend I just like just threw a bunch of bathing suits more comfy clothes in my bag and I already packed that up but I am bringing a workout bag so I'm gonna pack that up I just figured that you guys don't need to see me pack my um like every day stuff because I feel like I do so many packing videos so you definitely already know and don't really need to see that type of stuff um but I am putting together a little bag I'm gonna probably just do like more um chill workouts when I'm on the Cape because um, that's just like usually what I like to do. I really like to go on runs when I'm home. I have this like two mile loop near my house that I really like to do. I used to do it like all the time in high school so I'm so excited to be able to like go home and run outside. I feel like it's kind of hard to run in Boston with like all the cars and stuff unless you do it like super early in the morning. Um, but maybe I'll just show you guys a little gym bag what I keep in my gym bag so when I work out I really like to wear I have little spandex my favorite thing to work out in bra this one is really supportive so I'm gonna bring it for running and then I have this little cute gym bag right here which literally has so much room. It holds like all my stuff. I'm gonna pack resistance band. I like to do um, like banded workouts for my butt. So I always have one of those with me. These are my bala bangles. Just little one pound weights that are super helpful when I do like Pilates flows. Sneakers and I need to bring my watch actually I'll just put it on so I don't forget it and I got these new little earbuds for working out and I 
I'm so obsessed with them. They work so well. They're by the brand Raycon, which was co-founded by Ray J. And these are their everyday E25 earbuds. And I love them because they are wireless. They're super easy to connect like through Bluetooth to your phone and they're really tiny. And what I love about them, look, I'm gonna put them in my ear so you guys can see what they look like. They just like stick right into your ear and they literally don't move and I struggle to find like earbuds that don't fall out when I'm working out especially when I'm running and I like start to sweat and stuff so I really love these they come in this little cute like egg <laughs> and they have six hours of charge and I know that this little case once you charge it once it holds the charge for like four charges of the earbuds so it lasts for a really long time time and they have a really seamless Bluetooth pairing and I love them because they're wireless, like I said, and they're just super easy to like work out in. You can even um, use them when you're working and they have noise isolation. So you don't really hear what's going on around you, which I really like because I feel like sometimes I get really distracted. <laughs> so it's nice to have that feature and they come in so many different colors. So if you guys want to check them out, I will leave a link. Um, you can get a pair for 15% off. The price is already so good, which is why I got these because if I'm gonna be working out in them, I didn't want to spend like a ton of money on some of the more expensive like premium brands of wireless earbuds. I got these ones because they already had a lower price than all of the other brands that would compare to them and they're really nice i love all the features that they had i love that they hold a charge for so long i love that they're noise isolating that they also come in different colors so there's not just like one color you can get you have like so many to choose from i obviously just got the white because i love when things are like sleek <laughs> as you guys already know so if you guys want to check them out I'll leave a link down below you can get 15 percent off of your order if you're interested so yeah i'm gonna Go get ready. It's 1021. Emma wants to leave at least by 1045, she said. So I have a little bit of time. I'm gonna do my skincare routine. I'm still in my clothes that I slept in. Um, I'm gonna do my skincare. I'm gonna get ready to go to the Cape and then we're just gonna drive down. So I will talk to you guys when I get there. Finally made it to the Cape. We're on our way to the beach and Gonna probably spend the afternoon there, read a little bit. I'm so excited, it's so hot out today. It's like, it was 90 degrees at some points when we were driving, it was crazy how hot it was. And my dad's right there, my dad's at the beach right now waiting for us to get there. And, oh, should I close that? Um, the garage is closed, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go close our garage door. <laughs> It is so hot. Beach was so nice. The breeze, like honestly, I went swimming twice. My dad and I walked the jetty and it was so- Did you walk the full jetty? Not the full one because you know how there's like that rock in the middle and you have yeah. to kind of like go around. Dad was like, why don't we just walk to that rock and then walk back? So we walked like halfway down, but it was still, it was nice. I'm glad that I did it. My dad was like asking everybody <laughs> to just walk the jetty with him and I thought of it. And, like when I was little and we would ask to walk the jetty or like do anything at the beach, my dad would like drop anything and do it. You know, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it with you. And we walked in, it was really fun. And we went swimming a few times, but. I would have heard it was so good. Yeah, I, um, oh my God, my dad said something so funny at, when we were sitting down, he said, dad said that he put coconut oil cooking spray and sprayed his body. I don't know if he was being sarcastic or. No, he was being for real. That man will do a anything for my dad will literally do anything to get he's like, gone in really a spray tan. tan before yeah he and he uses his girlfriend oh my god he's so funny he came downstairs one time and he had like <laughs> he a really dog, tan dog. face like he looked so tan and i was like dad like dude, you got a lot of sun today and he goes no i use mary saint tropez have you ever heard of it i'm like dad, have no. i ever heard of it i was like oh my god you're so funny so and then you're like saint tropez and my dad just like loves being tan my dad loves summer and he loves the beach he was so pumped he got like a new beach chair for Father's Day and he like couldn't stop talking about it. He's like, you guys need to sit in the chair. You gotta sit in my chair. It's like so comfy.
talking to him, you're talking to him. And he's like, oh, yeah. he doesn't even, like, he hasn't seen me in years. Hi. He couldn't care less. He's just like... My, I just drove by. Oh, hi guys, next day. It's the morning, I just ate a bagel from Joe Mama's. And it was so good, I didn't vlog it. But it, I got a cinnamon raisin bagel and they have vegan cream cheese and it's the best vegan cream cheese. What is it called, Emma? The vegan cream cheese? Yeah. Tofuti. Can you like buy it at a store? Yeah, you can buy it anywhere. Oh, baker. Show everyone at, show everyone oh guys! My elementary school! This is condemned now. Oh my god, sometimes I have school. dreams and it's and this place is literally in my dreams. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Look, they, We're they taking every playground. detour so when I was, today. When I was here, they just had done the playground. And we'd oh my god! A hugging game where like a guy would come up and hug you, and it was so scary. And I always wanted Wyatt to hug me. <laughs> of course you did, Emma. Emma was boy crazy. That in thing with school. the ball, you put the you throw the yeah. ball in it, and it comes out one of the shoots. This is where I first like knew that I had a love for like fashion because I remember in second grade you would have to write books. Yeah. I would write books, and my books would be about. Um, monkeys. I loved monkeys and they would be like fashion monkeys and they would have like purses and like sunglasses and all and one of them drove a Lexus. <laughs> I, um, it was so funny. I still have them. On the swings right there, like the big green swing and the one next to it. I was pushing my friend on it and I had a finger brace on my finger and I told them all that I broke my finger but I really didn't so I would push it and be like, ow. Yeah, because mom was the best and she, like whenever we would want to get like a fake cast or anything from like, she would do it. or like um, a wrap for our like hand or whatever from CVS. She would always buy it for us. What are you saying? Look at this. Oh, these were the days. As a maker back in the day. Look at this little plaque. I could walk around these halls and be like, yo. <laughs> I know. Um, it's also so funny. Oh my god. We just drove by my um my first job too. Blah, 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 back I worked at a restaurant, a breakfast restaurant, and I would like bus tables and I would make toast. And I was in like eighth grade. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> You're welcome. We got dad a big new lawnmower. Let's see how it works. Hey. <laughs> For the gram. For the gram. I do the adjustment like that. Yeah. Yeah, you can just adjust it and then. How's it feel? You, gotta... you have to like click it in. Oh, and dad, it has the start button right here, so you don't have to. Pull that little thing. So thoughtful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Looks good. Dad loved his. Oh, I should probably just leave this open. We're gonna head to the beach. Um, he really liked his gift because he has a lawnmower that we've literally had for as long as I can remember, and it's so old and he mows lawn all the time and um, hurts his back sometimes like from the way that he has to like push it up the hill because like we have a really big hill in our yard so this one's really nice because it like kind of like goes by itself and I don't know so he was really happy about that which made me so happy and we picked up some lunch we just got Rory's for the beach a bunch of salads and stuff and then some tortilla chips another long day at the beach <laughs> but we're back all showered and ready we're gonna have some dinner that my dad's picking up right now like father's day dinner from one of our favorite restaurants here on cape and we're setting up wow i'll do interviews what's your name emma what's your favorite color emma Orange. Sunset. Orange. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Oof. Depends on the day. I'd have to say coffee. What's your favorite... Um... What's your favorite animal? You look gorgeous. What's your favorite animal? A Pomsky. What's your favorite... Oh, they're here. I should interview Mike. My Mike. favorite song is Ophelia by Kevin Years. <laughs> Mike, what is your favorite color? Um, blue. What's oh. your favorite time of day? Oh. 
when I go to bed. Oh. oh. What is your favorite type of food? Um, pizza. <laughs> what is your favorite? <laughs> um. <laughs> Ooh, I know. Mike and Tom for being the best dads in the world. <laughs> Dad, do you have a my, um... <laughs> it was fun. We had a good dinner. Good dinner. At the sunset. Now. Now it wouldn't be a Kate vlog. It wouldn't be a Cape vlog if Emma and I didn't go do this, but I want to show you guys the sunset from the trees, through the trees. Hey, girl. Oh, <laughs> what was that book that you read? Gone, girl. Yeah. Hey, girl. Bye, girl. Hi, girl. Gone, girl. Whoa. What is this, Emma? Rodeo. I'm loving this for us. Listen to shows like Howard Stern and more. Whatever you want hey on demand. Custom mix, commercial free music channels from nearly every genre to suit your mood. Stream over 25 extra. Put on our song. One second. Okay, Missy? Our song. Yeah. I know. It's not our song. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> if you know, you know. About you right now. This reminds me of Gretchen too. No, Gretchen and I listened to this the other day. Did she know it from Soul Cycle? I love Gretchen. No, she just knows it. This of is course she knows it. This is such a Gretchen song. Ice cream cafe. Vegan blizzards. <laughs> For the win, baby. I'm back in my apartment right now, you guys. <sighs> Sorry, I just, I'm literally out of breath because I was just carrying all of these bags up the stairs. And I'm winded, I'm really tired. But I've never been so happy to be home at my apartment. And I'm just like, I love it. It smells so fresh and new and clean. And I just am like emotional because like I love my apartment and going home to the Cape just made me like appreciate it so much more. Just like the little things. And I don't know, I just like missed being at my apartment. I left for the weekend and everything is just so clean because I cleaned on Friday. Yeah, one sec. And I can't wait to sleep in my bed again. But I need to go get um, a bunch of stuff out of Emma's car that we just bought from Home Goods. I just got everything from the car. I'm gonna make a little tripod. Okay, I'll show you guys what I got from Home Goods. I feel different when I vlog when I'm at my apartment and when I vlog when I'm on the Cape. I don't know why, but I do. Or maybe it's just because I'm alone. Either way, this is what I got from Home Goods. I got a brush for the shower. I got this little thingy because I have some stuff I'm doing to my apartment, which you guys will see like updates once I am like doing it. But I've been getting different accessories because I can finally go to a store. And I got these. Candle holders, which I think are really cool. They're like ceramic. I feel like they'd look really good in the middle of my dining table. So I got those. And then I got two 
jasmine scented candles for the candlesticks and then I picked up some olive oil and then last but not least I got this really comfy rug it's like a runner for my bathroom oh, it's so comfy and I'm gonna put it in front of my um, what's it called my sinks so I can stand on it when I like wash my face and do my skincare after I get out of the shower but it's so plush oh, and it like feels so good on my feet Look at you, little barista. Wow, guys, I got my eyebrows done. This is so weird. I haven't seen myself with, uh, like, oh, they actually do look really good. At first I looked at them and I was like, are they too little? Like, too thin, I meant. Sorry, I'm like looking in my mirror right now at them. But I just think that I wasn't used to seeing them done. I don't know. I'm definitely not gonna get them done as much as I used to. I literally used to get them done every two weeks. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm gonna like just clean them up myself. My camera's also zoomed in all the way. But I don't know, they look kinda good been a little while I went grocery shopping so I have a full stocked up fridge right now I've done so many grocery hauls in videos that I posted recently so I basically get the same thing every time you can go check out one of my recent vlogs to see like what a typical grocery haul looks like for me if you're interested in that um, but Emma and I are gonna go grab some dinner right now and we're gonna walk to dinner and I'm not gonna bring my camera with me I just want to bring like as little as possible so I don't have to carry everything um, so yeah but I'm gonna end off this vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my weekend on the Cape I know you guys really like the Cape vlogs which makes me so happy and there's definitely gonna be more where that comes from in a few weeks because I'm going back to the Cape soon but yeah so I'm gonna go grab dinner but I hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you so much for watching I love you so much and I will see you in my next video bye guys